Paravyazka can be found in the Russian Federation, on the territory of Saratov and Orenburg, Rostov and Samara regions. The animal also inhabits the right bank of the Volga River. The vole also inhabits the steppes near the banks of the Yertish tributaries and in the Republic of Taiva. The raptor also inhabits Europe and Asia, starting from the Balkan Peninsula and ending in northwestern China. Paragusna inhabits both steppes and hills. The animal prefers terrain with dense vegetation. The mammal is distributed unevenly throughout its range, and at this time the distribution map forms a mosaic. Interestingly, the animal instantly moves away from areas that begin to turn into farmland. Dressings are also found on the mountain plateaus, in the mountains, but not above 3000 m above water level. At this point, the animals also settle near humans, in parks and vineyards, on abandoned land that is located around cities. Bandits spend most of the day in their burrows. They can both dig it up themselves, and take it away from voles and gophers or hamsters. Animals hunt at night, in many ways their habits are similar to those of ferrets. Animals communicate with congeners only during the mating period, individuals live alone. The peregrine is oriented on the area by means of its sense of smell. The animal can cover about 600 m a day in search of gophers and voles and hamsters. The predator searches for prey in underground passages and on land. On the surface, the animal can make 60 cm jumps in pursuit of prey. If there is enough food in the vicinity, the lapwings lead a sedentary lifestyle. There is information that peregrine foxes sometimes attack groups of gerbils, cooperating with foxes. Those individuals that try to flee end up with the foxes, while others that try to escape using underground passages end up with the band-aids. Members of the fowl family often leave paired oblique tracks, which are called double-check marks. When exploring the area, the individual stops, raises its head and begins to look around. If the animal senses danger, it becomes columnar, and the viewing angle increases. If the alarm was false, the animal goes further, and if it is not, it climbs a tree or hides underground. When there is no time to do so, the predator strikes a threatening pose, lifts its torso and puts its tail on its back. The animal makes a grin and starts growling. If the hunter is not intimidated by this behavior, the bandage itself starts a fight, and an unpleasant smelling secret spurts out of the animal's anus. These secretions are similar to those secreted by a skunk. Interesting facts. The vocalization of the peregrine is limited. The animal may shrill, grunt, and squeal in case of danger. The mammal also often growls if it is angry about something. The dressing animal's favorite fruits are melon and watermelon. Animals sometimes hunt underground in rodent passages where they may also settle. The territories of individuals may overlap, but there is no competition for places. Female peregrines reach sexual maturity at three months of age, while males reach sexual maturity only in a year. Females often assume a defensive posture when playing with humans. They start hopping on their paws forward, backward, and in all directions. In captivity, bandages live about nine years. The species name in Latin is Vormula meaning little worm. The Vormula leaves no claw marks on hard ground. Paragusna feeds on gerbils, voles, gophers, and hamsters. Occasionally, the animal's diet includes tushkas and birds, snakes and frogs, and representatives of invertebrates. If there is an opportunity to steal bird eggs, eat berries and tree fruits, the animals use it. In captivity, dressings are also fed with dairy products, cheese and cottage cheese, sometimes fed with meat. The breeding season begins in June and ends in August. The male attracts the female's attention by cooing. Mating lasts for a short time, and after the process the female is immediately removed. The expectant mother chooses her partner on the basis of her closeness. Pregnancy in the peregrine lasts about 11 months. The embryo has a developmental delay. Usually one to eight ligaments are born, only four of them grow quite quickly. At birth, the offspring are completely naked, with thin white hairs on their torsos. Babies of bandages are born blind, their ear canals are closed for the first time after birth. The average weight of a baby is 5G and its body is about 5 to 7 centimeters long. 
There is a pattern on the skin of the cub that is similar to the color of the adult. There are formed claws on the paws of the cubs. The cub's eyes don't erupt until the 40th day, and the mother stops feeding her cubs with milk in a month and a half. In the second month of life, the female sends her children to adulthood, and in another three months, the cubs already have a family of their own. There are several subspecies of these mammals, Vormula paragusna koshinikui, Negans, Semirekinskaya and Usnoruskaya paragusna, and Syrian paragusna. Only two subspecies of paragusna occur in the Russian Federation, the Semirechinsk and Southern Russian subspecies. The subspecies populations are threatened with extinction and are included in the Red Book of Russia. One of the main reasons for the decline is poaching. The number of the species is also falling due to pollution of habitats, so they are forced to look for less favorable places. Another reason for the decline is the extermination of rodents. The population decrease is also caused by plowing of steppes and overgrazing of livestock. For the last two centuries the border of Ariel has decreased on 600 kilometers from the north to the south and on 700 from the west to the east. Populations at habitat boundaries are particularly affected. The abundance of the lapwing is monitored in the Dagestan and Stepnoiseratovsky reserves, and there are also small test groups on the banks of the reservoir in Simlyansk. The garter snout is much smaller than that of the ferret. This representative of the fur bearers has small short ears covered with thick fur. The lapwing is also more brightly colored. Despite their outward resemblance, the animals never mate because the garter belt is quite selective in this matter.